Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Diet Prepare video. In today's edition, we'll be working on a MacBook Pro 15 inch, uh, model A1398. This is a 2015. Uh, this unit was mailed into us for a logic board replacement. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So as we do with every MacBook repair, we're gonna start by flipping it over and removing all the pentalobe screws along the perimeter of the unit. All right, so now that we're inside the unit, the very first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery by lifting up this connection here. And the battery is now disconnected and it's safe to work on everything here. All right, so we're gonna grab a T5 screwdriver here first, and we're gonna remove the SSD uh, by unscrewing this T5 screw on the left and pulling the SSD out. We're gonna take our plastic spudger, unplug the cables running to the Wi-Fi module here. And of course, use that same T5 screwdriver and unfasten the screw holding the Wi-Fi card in and remove the Wi-Fi card. And we're gonna keep using that same T5 screwdriver and remove the covers uh, that are holding on the trackpad here, both sides of the IO board cable as well. and the T5 screws holding in the fans. And to reach this left one here, we first have to move the Wi-Fi cables and unplug the webcam. There we are. And now we can go ahead and unscrew this final fan here. We're gonna use our plastic spudger to unplug the IO board cable, set it aside. While we're here, we're gonna unfasten the coax cable below here that also runs to the IO board. We're gonna go ahead and unfasten the trackpad cable from the logic board, peel it back just a little bit, unplug the keyboard, the left-hand speaker, the CPU left fan here, and the right fan, the right speaker, the keyboard backlighting, the LCD, and now we're gonna go ahead and remove the CPU fans. Starting with the left one, moving on to the right one setting those aside. So going back to that T5 bit again, we're gonna remove uh, the various screws holding the heat sink as well as the logic board in, starting with this covered one right here, by removing this little plastic nub, or rubber nub, excuse me, and removing the screw underneath, and there we are. We're gonna work away uh, right to left here, so we're gonna start with the screws at the top next, as well as this hidden screw, it's a silver screw, T5 again. Uh, that holds the heat sink in place on the left hand side here. And moving down, we're gonna go ahead and unfasten this T5 screw and this T5 screw as well. Alrighty, so the logic board is now ready for removal. It's pretty glued in there. So you can't pull the board fully out uh, because the MagSafe cable is still connected here. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the MagSafe cable now. And there we are. That is everything fully disconnected. Uh, we do have to scavenge, scavenge one more part here. Uh, this logic board to IO board coax cable here. Gonna put that aside. That's the last thing off this old, uh, unfortunately no longer working logic board that we need. We'll set this aside now. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the two T5 screws here and here to make installing uh, the new logic board a lot easier on ourselves. Optionally, you could do this as well when you're taking the old logic board out. 
And we're gonna go ahead and clean uh, this case off here, the top case, just to make it nice for the new logic board. Now it looks like someone was already in here because this top case uh, microphone array was not plugged in to the old logic board. It was actually tucked under. Interesting. Uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and unpack our brand new uh, logic board here. If you're looking for parts, check them out at techdep.com. Uh, we have everything you need there. So now that we have our new logic board unpacked and all ready to go, we're gonna prep the IO board for installation by removing it. Now we're gonna prepare the logic board for installation by flipping it over and plugging in the MagSafe charging port as well as the IO board coax cable. Now the board's ready for installation. So we're gonna start on the right hand side here. I like to start by lining up the MagSafe connector first and slotting the board into place using the IO as the guide. And now we just have to work to make sure that we don't cover any cables like this keyboard one that's actually already covered. There we go. Make sure this cable's up. Looks like our speaker is about to get covered down here. The front microphone array trackpad, keyboard, battery, speaker. Everything looks good. We're gonna move that out of the way and it should slot right into place. As soon as we clear some of this down here. There we go. So that is the board fully in place. Now we just have to go around and put some screws in. So now that the board is fully in place, we're gonna start uh, by installing just a few T5 screws to hold it in place by using the two smallest ones at the bottom as guides and moving to the two longest T5s at the top. All right, now we're gonna go around the board and just plug in the various connections while we're here. Now we're gonna start with this little keyboard backlight cable on the right hand side here. And close the retention bar on that one. Moving on to the right hand speaker. And the keyboard ribbon cable. We're gonna leave the trackpad cable uh, running under the battery here. Under this little battery cover as it does. Plug that in. Plug the speaker in and this front microphone array. There we are. So after installing those connections, we're gonna reinstall the IO board here. We're gonna plug in the cable while we're at it down here and use those two T5 screws to secure the IO board in place. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and screw in two more T5 screws that are gonna hold everything in place, uh, including the heat sink here. We're gonna start with the right one. This is gonna hold the heat sink as well as the logic board in place. And moving on to the left one here. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the CPU fans. You can start with either one here. I'm just gonna start with the right one. It is a lot easier if you start by plugging in the flex cables first uh, versus installing the fans and then plugging in the flex cables. Just makes it harder to access them. All right, now we're gonna go ahead with the left hand one. And now we're gonna take the CPU fan screws and secure these into place. And 
following that, we are going to go ahead and first plug in the webcam. Followed by installing the Wi-Fi card. With its respective T5 screw and plugging in the three Wi-Fi antennas. I like to work my way uh, from far left to far right. Uh, whichever way works best for you guys. This is quite the tedious and annoying task, unfortunately. Uh, but whatever way you guys find it easiest is, of course, the best way. There's that cable, move on to the center one, and on to the third and final cable here. That's all of our Wi-Fi antennas installed. Just a few things left here, so we're going to start with the two T5 screws that hold the MagSafe charging port in place. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and plug in our LCD connection point here. Secure the retention bar in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the IO board flex cable. You can start with either side here, whichever one's easier for you. I recommend, of course, doing second. We're gonna secure the retention bars in place. And these are, of course, two T5 screws each. And this final retention bracket here goes over the trackpad. And our last almost last step on the inside here is just to reinstall our SSD. And secure it into place using a T5 screw. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug back in the battery. Put the bottom case on and secure it down using the pentalobe screws. Only thing to note, is there is two smaller screws. They're barely shorter than the rest, uh, but they go on these top two places here. Uh, the other ones will not secure flush if they are put into place there because they have too many threads. All right, so all that's left is to give this machine power, double check everything's working and and now that we have a charger, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Make sure it is being charged. As soon as it turns orange, we're good to go. And let's go ahead and, oh, turned on when I opened it. There we are. Just took a second to boot up. Looks like it's going straight to the operating system. It's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll be sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdep.com or click the link below for mail-in repair. We'll see you next time.